Welcome back everyone this is magic of design software and today I'm going to show you about the sheet metal fabrication things so here's one company named MGM manufacturing so here they develop the sheet metal parts so to meet the customer demands and supply they used to manufacture a very quality product here if you can see here this one so this is an aluminium so it has been created by the CNC machines and you can see as per the design they have bolted the screws by using spot welding method so this is a whole lot of things they have built or manufactured this is gears there are wide range of application of this learning this catia and manufacture the things you can do a lot of stuffs to design and to imagine the future Hey, like this one if you draw this in CATIA V5 you will take hardly 10, 10 to 15 minutes this application of this design which which we are drawing on CATIA V5 that will fetch you a profit okay so this is built and manufactured in a single room and if you can see there is cutting also is there so it is it's a method called bending and punching so by the application of this methods this product is built and no worries it's a very quality product right they have various grades of aluminium sheets and if you see this one so these are all the applications of this CATIA V5 so one can uh, open up their own factory or own manufacturing unit by the application of such things If you see here this is a bending machine they used to bend the parts by by just uh, putting into it a vise and just pressing from the up and upper side so this is a you, if you can see uh, after bending or pressing the things or part they used to check the whether the part is correct or not so for for measuring or to cross check the product they, they build a one a cavity over there and just and they are just putting the part into it and just checking that all things are fine so today's tutorial so today's tutorial is so simple and uh, it can be done by a new user also and you can see on the screen it's a so simple design quarter inch part, steel part that that we are making so the company allows the user to send their designs to the company they manufacture the the, uh, the required parts in an amount and they ship back the things all over the world so yeah this is a so profitable business one can pursue in their in their lifetime and can have a huge profit in this so let's start so you can find this draft sheet in the description link you can you can download it from there also it's quite helpful for uh, drawing to get a drop sheet first and then design the things so for that we are just uh, getting the proper dimensioning from here and drawing the things in CATIA right so just going back to CATIA so th this is a interface of a CATIA and uh, I'm going for a new part design here so going for start mechanical design selecting part design so here you can see planes are displayed here and now you can go for YZ plane select the sketch icon right and now and just you can see at the top you can find the design tools right like line spline circle rectangle and more of that things so I'm just selecting line line command this one profile or you can go for line here, here also I'm selecting profile so basic the basic thing about CATI is to uh, draw from a center point right so for that we need to draw from center point like that okay now pressing escape for for going back escape 
right so you can get the proper dimensioning by pressing this icon i'm selecting this icon constraints and selecting the line so it should be 100 okay as we can see in the draft sheet it's uh, 40 plus 60 it's 100 and it is also from this the center to this it is 100 and this is 80 and uh, this is of radius of 10 mm yeah and we know it's a quarter inch so for that 6.35 mm right so we are giving dimensions like that coming back to Katia and uh, selecting the constraint command and now going for it 80 and now this one is also so for 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 dimensioning this one you, you need to first select the command constraint then press the left control of your keyboard and now select this and select the corner of this line this one you can see the display dimensions so just click right click on it so it is stable now double click on it you can define the constraint right so it is 100 and now the angle section uh, again can, uh, select the left control of your keyboard select this one and now this one you can see the angle is displayed over here so double click on it it is 60 degree right all set now i'm selecting the command called corner right zooming it pressing the thing on a corner point and just selecting and stretching it and press ok ok so now it's a radius of 15 we need we need of 10 so just defining it 10 as 10 mm <sighs> done again the same process goes for upper thing this corner press 10 okay and now for to make the surface thick we need to so first of all you, you, you need to select the each and every segment and the corner of the sketch to make it offset for that we need to select the, all the things press left control of your keyboard right then select this one and uh, all of it okay so it's now selected now go for the command called offset you can see the dotted lines are displayed i'm just selecting and i'm just selecting the minimum distance that we think that it, it must be 66.35 okay so for that so assuming it and just pressing the right click on it that's it okay you can see the profile is displayed right again going for the constraint command is 16 is 6.35 and uh, for this corner it should be how much you can see the draft sheet is 16.35 16.35 right and now selecting this two control press control left control this one and this one is 6.35 no worries same for this also so 16.35 and automatically this will be 6.35 right so now closing the ends select the command call line this one corner to corner done now again here also same corner to corner 
done now to check the sketch you, you need to go for sketch analysis for that you need to go for tools you get the command here sketch analysis click on it you can find you can find here there are 12 curves and all are closed so means your sketch is complete right so i'm just closing it and now going back to workbench right so you can see the displayed design i'm now going for command pad to extrude it okay so it must be 80 right so you can see it is 80 mm beautiful so for now it's uh, halfway is done now again going back to drop sheet see how to make another one so you can see it's isometric view is displayed over here so we need to just make a one circle here some semicircle here uh, make a hole here and just make a cavity inside it right so for that we need to sketch on the upper plane right going back to Katia selecting this one and now going for sketch right so it's very simple you can draw and now I'm showing I'm going to show you the very basic thing that we need to know as drawing as a over a sketch or over a student part okay so for that going for command called projection so it will project the line or any segment into a line if you are interested if you are if you are willing to do that thing otherwise you can go for command called here see construction mode right so the line will be displayed here will be of construction mode like this one you can see it's not a real line it's a construction line right fine it's a it's in yellow color again going back to original line mode and now selecting the command called a command called three point arc okay so for that we need to give the starting point ending point and the uh, and the arc view that we want okay so the selecting here this one and this one and just going up coinciding with the yellow line okay so we get the required semicircle so the the thing that we want is this one and that, that we don't want is this one right so for that we need to develop a no a rectangle a, a, a three sided line okay so for that we need to go for projection command okay select this one as it did now see it will develop as a line because we are no out of that construction mode right so you need to take this as a very important no learning of this tutorial so you're saying this one same for this one also so you can see it's a close part now right so now you can see now in the sketch sorry oh yeah, sorry in the draft sheet you can see it's a draft sheet so you can see in the draft sheet it's a displayed it's a cavity is been displayed so for that we need to make a rectangle for that here and just give the constraints so left uh, left control this one and now this one it should be 20 that's fine um, 20 same for other side also 20 and uh, just make sure it, it is above this line or you can just make, make a constraint on this this one and this one should be 8 mm no worries okay all set 
going back to workbench and now i'm going to select a command called pocket so it will create a no like a it it will file the material that we that we don't want okay or it will make a pocket inside the work inside the uh, extruded part okay so for that we need to just select the command and go for it i'm just giving a random value so so so, so that it will cover all the whole structure right review done so you can see the required part is here uh, along with the circle system circle part fine so we can go for the command called edge filing right so it will develop some you no know, smooth edges like this one and this one this one and this one okay so ready should be 5 mm or we can take as per that that we want that you want okay i'm taking 3 mm no ways so you can see the smooth edges are here now i'm going for a hole so for that there is a separate command called hole right so i'm just clicking on it on the on the surface okay so it's a random point that i have clicked so for that we need to sketch the sketch the proper dimensioning for 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 proper proper dimensioning of the sketch of the hole right so going for it so this is a this is axis horizontal and vertical and this is a point on that the hole is going to make so i'm just giving the dimensions to, to to this point left control again selecting this point this edge how much it is 12 i'm giving as uh, 17 fine and again this one and this one how much it is 40 so i'm just giving it as 40 no worries okay as it is it is 80 total so we can go 40 40 means it will be in middle section in in the middle part okay so so you can select the types of holes there are different types of holes are here you can make thread also here so i'm just going for a blind hole and uh, as i need in the down portion also i'm just selecting the depth as 100 so it will cross the bottom part and go further you can and you can see the holes are developed here okay and now i'm going to add the material to the body this is a command called apply material i just selected the part one clicking on it and uh, apply the material to it so you can see here here a whole lot of varieties are present so we need to go for metal and we go for aluminum okay or you can go for shading with material right so you can see the aluminum part is displayed right so it's a very basic part that that, that you can make in ketta v5 so thanks for watching if you like this video just make a like on it and uh, it's my discussion video so better i hope you learn something in this video and uh, if you can if if you find this video valuable please share to your friends and your and your colleagues and for that said thank you so much